All right, so we know Amazon has their tablets for quite some time, and we know they make Fire tablets, Kindles, whatever, but there's new tablets out called the Fire series of tablets, and we've had Fire tablets before, but this time, these actually look pretty decent, and one of them I'm going to be talking about. First, there's a 10-inch one, which is for $299, an 8-inch one for $149, 6-inch for um, $999, which is about the size of a Nexus 6, and $49.99. And yes, $100. The prices are $50, $100, $150, $230. But the $50 one, what am I saying? It's a 7-inch tablet. It has 8 gigabytes, black, 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. And quad-core is pretty decent. 8, gigs, about 8 gigabytes. And yeah, there's a micro SD on here, which is a good thing. 7 inch screen, 1024 by 600, uh, 171 uh, PPI screen. It's not going to look that good, but the question I'm wondering, will this tablet disappoint? I'm wondering, with, concerning the price, $50, and I'm going to talk about a story in a little bit with these cheap tablets. Many times, I'm wondering, will this be, considering Amazon's offering a deal where you get six of these, you, know, you buy five of them and you get the sixth one for free, which is going to be 250 of these $50 ones. And I'm wondering, is Amazon doing this because they, this was a failed experiment and they just want to get them out, get them out of their factories and all? Or is this actually going to be a decent tablet for doing basic stuff like light games, music, email, maybe some social media here and there? No multitasking, no heavy stuff, just basic stuff. Will it be nice for that or will it become one of those... You, if you go to Best Buy, or sometimes even Walmart has them, like no-name tablets, even Walgreens has just tablets that are just cheap-ass tablets that say no-name, some brand name you can barely pronounce, and then Android tablet for $70, $80, and I'm be I bet the $100 and $150, 239 will be neat, it will be decent, but... I'm wondering about the $50 one, considering I've seen tablets for $50 and I've heard everything but good about them. I've heard that charging ports stop working, screens stop working, um, power buttons, it won't turn on, won't charge, stuff like that. And my sister actually had a tablet. It was a Dell tablet, 8-inch one. She got it for free because if you bought a laptop, um, if it was if you bought a laptop, you got that kind of tablet for free. And all the reviews on Amazon, a lot of them there are saying that it stopped working after a couple weeks. And I'm going to talk about my story with that thing. She got the tablet for Christmas. It was a free one. We never told her it was free. She found out eventually. <laughs> and she's pretty pissed off about that. But she got it. It worked decent for the first couple of days. First couple of days, she was happy that she had a tablet. It worked nice. And she had a, what was it called? I'm trying to think. She had all her apps, Clash of, Clash of Clans, Angry Birds, YouTube, everything on there. Everything that kids use these days. <laughs> she had all her apps on there. And after a couple days, I believe it was about two weeks or so, after having it, one day she went to use it and it just wouldn't turn on. We called Dell and they basically told us to send it back. We'll get you a new one. They had, them, had us at first. Hold down the power button. Try plugging it in. Plug it in after this. And a bunch of dumb shit like that. And still wouldn't work. So they gave us a replacement. Which was a decent thing for them to do. But when I finally heard them. Um, when she finally got this new one. It worked decent for a couple weeks or so. And then it just. It just stopped working. It wouldn't charge. Yeah we tried different chargers or anything. Just wouldn't work. We, we ended up getting another one. This one, I believe we're on our third one now. This one, uh, it would the battery would die very quick. They all died pretty quick, but this one especially did. And she would get messages saying the battery, plug in your charger, it's not corrected correctly. Or it's not connected correctly. I said that wrong completely. But it basically was an unreliable piece of shit. Some days it would be decent. Other days it was just unusably bad and sometimes things on her tablet wouldn't work I don't know many apps wouldn't work on it because it was a low-end one but the other thing I had to say is 
basically this tablet was a piece of shit and there's Amazon reviews of it saying it sucks and this thing occasionally will just not turn on it will just refuse to turn on no matter how many times you hold down that power button no matter what you do it just won't turn on and then occasionally it may yeah we've been on like four or five of these already and I just gave up on them we she ended up getting an iPad mini now which is 500 times better and this is coming from an Android person so that's saying a lot. Basically, I'm wonder. That was just my little story about it. But what I'm wondering, fifty dollars will it be decent for basic things? Because you see fifty dollar Android phones that are perfectly capable of doing basic things. You see thirty dollar, ten dollar, not even ten dollar, but twenty dollar, forty dollar Android phones that do basic things very well. And I'm talking about the prepaid phones. I'm not talking about twenty dollars on a contract. I'm talking about those prepaid phones. They do everything neat, um, nice. And I'm talking about will these phones or these ta this tablet, especially the 49 one, will that be a decent tablet for doing basic things or will it just be shit? Because mostly it's the no-name brand tablets, the cheap ones that do that, but this one was a Dell tablet, which is considered a name brand. Yeah, it's not a super good name brand, but it's all right brand so that's all I really had to say is will it be a decent tablet or will it just be a piece of shit that will break in a couple of days like those the tablet I just mentioned that's all I really had to say about this and bye